Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy T the Hillbilly. Now today, I wanted to speak my opinion about bullying, Texas shooting, and gun rights. Now, if y'all know, I'm big serious on all of these subjects. So, this might be going to be a long video, but I'm willing to speak out my opinion about, about how I feel. But, we're going to start with the first one, school shootings. Now, I'm a type of man, normally when I was a whole lot younger, if y'all don't know, uh, I got bullied a lot. I got bullied for, you know, being the weird kid in school. Because back then, I thought being the weird kid, you would be considered like a comedian. But there was a big con about it. You was going to get bullied on a daily basis. So, I got bullied a lot. I was told I acted too white to hang out with some of my friends. I'm not going to bring race into it, but it was majorly fucked up. I got bullied so much that my own mother had to rush me to the hospital because I had a suicide attempt. It was something I did not want to speak out on, but yeah, it is what it is. Now, not even one time, not even one time, I had the mindset of planning out a school shooting and kill innocent lives. I don't condone violence. Even if it was my own bully, I'm not going to kill them. They may have said some messed up shit. They may have made some rumors, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to act like I was this golden boy in school. I'm not going to lie. When I was in middle school and high school, I've been in relationships. I'm not going to lie. I was toxic. I was a narcissist. I did a ton of women wrong. And it's like if I was in this cycle of being a victim and a suspect at the same time of bullying. If y'all don't know, I'm close friends with fellow Buford County YouTuber Nova Arby. Me and him are like brothers. What I did was the most fucked up thing I ever done was... I bullied him in middle school because I wanted to be a popular kid. But when I saw the deep aftermath about it, even in elementary, I done it. I saw the deep aftermath about it. I felt like shit. Years later, I talked to a couple of my old friends and apologized. I said I was just trying to fit into a group that I know damn well I was not going to fit into. I apologized to Will Graves. Uh, I apologize to Sydney Daiga because me and her, you know, first grade, we were very close. And then out of nowhere, I became an asshole. And it was understandable why she was pissed at me every day. But God is good. You know, both of them forgive me. Both of them said, hey, don't hold this. Don't hold this. We were kids. You know, we're almost 30 now. You know, it is what it is. But that still did not give me. Anything, I repeat anything, to shoot up any school, no matter if it's an elementary, a middle school, or a high school, I did not have that mindset. So, with that being said about bullying, let's move on to the one I want to talk about, the, tech, the recent shooting in Texas. You know, normally I feel bad for victims of bullying, but I've been heard that he was a bully, I've been heard that he was a victim of bullying. Either one, I did not like this one. You went after 19 kids and two adults, 19 graduations parents cannot go to and cry and say, yay, that's my daughter, that's my boy. You took that away from them. That's 19 weddings. They can't see their daughter walking down the aisle or their son crying because he finally married the love of his life. That is 19, 19 kids who could have brought new generations on this earth when they're adults. Now the generation came to the end. 19. I have zero s sympathy for this dude. And the mom said, I'm sorry, but please forgive him. Now, I have nothing against the mom. Because she felt bad about the shooting. She was like, just please forgive my son. I know I know most of y'all are not going to forgive him, but please. 
I am sorry. And now the mom is taking the guilt. She's taking the guilt for him. If she, I don't care if she encounters my video or not, but don't do that. Now, what confuses me is how much money these weapons were. <laughs> I mean, shit. I mean, all that money. <sighs> I mean, damn. I could have bought me some land and you know, put a deer stand, but we ain't gonna talk about that. But at the end of the day, this man took innocent lives. Uh, the new generation that could have created another one for the parents, but unable to now. And forever, my prayers go out to Texas. Now, we move on to my most favorite subject of all time. Gun rights. Sorry, I have to put my hat backwards. Uh, everyone knows I love guns. I am 100% big time on Second Amendment. And I'm big time on First Amendment. I am huge on those ones. Now, how do I feel about him having an AR-15? Personally, as someone who always wanted one, I don't understand why an 18-year-old should get one. I would say if it was me, I would say for an AR-15, wait till a person is at least 21 to get those. Now, uh, me and my girl's mom had a conversation. She said, hey, you know, you don't need that type of gun to protect your home. And, you know, I was like, I mean... I mean, if you actually talk, see a lot of pro-gun people, <laughs> y'all think a shotgun and pistol is the only thing they got? Now, the reason I want, uh, the reason I said, as someone who would legit get an AR, even an AK, I'm like, bro, you don't know what weapon uh, a Robert, uh, someone going to attempt to break into your house with. They can have a pistol, they can have an AK-47, they can have a Draco, they can have anything. You don't know. That's why I'm big on this AR-15 thing because everyone keeps saying, oh, you you can't get AR and protect your home. Yes, you can. Nowadays, a lot of men and women who break into people's houses, they carry some automatic weapons nowadays. They, You think they care about the 12 gauge, the AA-12s, the 45 Desert Eagles? Oh, no. They will break into your house Either option A, hell you hostage, or option B, they will kill you before or after what they get. You know, like I said, it wasn't an argument. I I love I love my girl's mom. It's just I was pointing out that hey, people, criminals, they don't care what weapon you have. Long as they go, long as they go inside and get what they want. And that's facts. So, do I think we should ban AR-15s? Look, I'm on the no side. Should we restrict people of getting AR-15s? Yeah. Instead of 18, bumping up to 21. Just like they did cigarettes. That is it for today. And as always, like, subscribe, comment. This is your boy T the Hillbilly. Now, everyone, uh, I'm sending prayers out to Texas. And anyone who has suffered from a school shooting back in the days, I'm very sorry for that. I could not imagine the pain y'all went through to go through any of that. From any school shooting from back in the days until now, I am sorry for everyone. But y'all have a blessed day. This is your boy T the Hillbilly. Deuces.